coming back to school with me. We could have done it all so easily. Hi, my name is Craig Thompson Wood. I'm your host on Teaching with Board Games. I'm back again from, uh, with Timothy. He hasn't been here for a while. I think, mm. the, I think the last time he came, I don't think he's had a haircut since the last time he's been. <laughs> he's got this big mop of hair now going. But we're going to um, play Out Fox for you today. That was the game I had shown last on the channel, and I thought it was a great game to show a playthrough of. So Timothy's here to help me with that today. So let's get right to it. Okay, so here is our setup for the game. Uh, Timothy will be the red hat. I'll be the green hat. Put the fox back on the start. Um, Timothy, you're going to turn over two suspects because you can start the game with two suspects showing. So we have Mary and Charles. Okay, Timothy, why don't you take the first turn and we'll get the game underway. Timothy and I discussed a strategy early on. He said he's going to go for the top half of the clues. I'm going to go for the bottom half of the clues. I'm going to roll the die. Okay. Oh, look at that. First roll, three. So when you get three eyes, you get to turn over two more suspect cards. So that's going to be important for us to be able to Billy. know and rule people out to the, or foxes out to know that they are not who we're looking for. So I've rolled two paw prints, so I'm going to go for paws, and there's my that. So I'm going to go four, one, two, three. You know, I'm going to just grab this clue right away, and I'm going to take this hat. So I'm, the hat, well, actually, no, before I put the hat there, I have to put it into the, into the thing here. Now I'm just going to tell you, the viewer, what I'm seeing. So looking in there, what color is the circle underneath? Hard to see. The light. Green. It's a green. So green means that the suspect is not wearing a hat. Okay. So the suspect is not wearing a hat. So we'll put so, so we'll put green on maybe over on this side and red on that side. So, so they're not wearing a hat, the suspect. So. And all our foxes right now are not wearing hats. So we, we still don't have any new information. We cannot rule out any of these four that we see. Okay. Sure. Yep. So you have two paws and an eye. So you can just take a pause, an eye. One more roll. Eye. Still an eye. Now Timothy and I think we're expert enough that we're going to be doing four. So you can do three for easy mode, four for normal, five for expert. One, two, three, four. So the fox is making a run for it now. They know that Timothy and... Oh, actually that doesn't even go there, does it? That goes up here. It goes here to show that space is now... Now, one thing I didn't mention to you, Timothy, when I leave this space, I can leave from anywhere mm. in here. So I can leave from over here if I want to, but there's no diagonals. So I told you that. Okay, so two paws and an eye. So I have three paws. So I'm going to go one, two, three across the sidewalk there and start going for that clue. My turn. Okay, wow. So just to show you what he got, he has five paws. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's the worst way of that side. Alright, and then me, I have two paws and an eye. 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 Ay, ay, ay. One, two, three, three, four, yells. Okay, back to you. Okay, so just make sure it's on camera. We have two paws, and another eye, and an eye. Ah, One, two, three, four. That fox is making a run for it now. Okay, so four. Uh, well, I'm just going to jump in there. Might as well. So this, this is now the, the clue is a flower. They have a flower. So we put the flower in there. And let's see what we find. What do you see? See another green. Green. So it means the suspect does not have a flower. So is there anybody here that we can rule out then that has a flower? Mary. Mary has a flower. So we can rule out Mary then. Mary, oh, is, I, Mary is no longer a suspect. I think I see a flower on it. Yep. yep, Charles has a flower on his pocket. Any flowers on Lily or Ingrid? No. Nope. No, okay. So those two are still suspects, but we've ruled out two suspects, that's good. Okay, Timothy, your turn. Okay, so we have two eyes and a paw. No, one more roll. 
Hmm? Now, it should be noted too, like there are three eyes, as I said in my other video, three eyes, and then the other three sides are paws. One of this, only one of the sides has two paw prints, but um, there are, you know, there's still 50 50 chances of getting your things. Okay, so you can turn over two more suspect cards. Now we remember we said that the, the suspect is not wearing a hat, so right away we can rule out Arthur. Okay. Yeah, you gotta look for, you gotta check if you might have missed, just like with the Charles. Mm -hmm. Charles one. Yeah, Charles, the, the, the flower was a little um, hidden in the pocket there. Okay, so I've rolled two eyes. I'll go for eyes, and then I've got it. So just work our way around here. So Edith. Okay. Uh, does not have a flower or a hat, so she is still a suspect. You know, I'm going to put all our suspects over in one area here. And one more. Uh, so Gertrude has a flower, so that means she is no longer a suspect. Okay, Tiffany, there you go. Okay, so he has rolled two eyes and a paw, so he's going to re-roll that paw. And he's rolled an eye, great, so we get two more suspects. We're getting a lot of suspects. That's good, so we so, can start to rule them out. Daisy and Henry. Can we rule it either Henry of them? Henry has a hat. So no hat, we know there's no hat. Uh, nope. Doesn't have a flower or a hat. Okay, so our only clues so far are flower and hat. So we're going to try have to try and get some more clues to help us out here. Um, Okay, well, I've got two eyes, and at this point, I might as well try and get those suspects. One, oh, okay. Might as well get every suspect. Yeah, yeah, then you can... Rule it out. Rule out. Okay, so, what do we think of Let's, Riley? Um, uh, yeah, it has top hat. Hat, so we ruled out hat. And then, Belle? Yep. Why? Flower on the ear. She has a flower on her ear. Okay, so we'll put those there. So they're ruled out. So I'm just going to move those, well, these suspects up here now. We have, so that's the point in the game. But with only two clues, too. With only two clues, we managed to roll out a bunch of suspects. Okay, so we have two Go eyes and a paw. An there yep. you got it. Okay, two more suspects. Good. Want me to reach those for you? Okay, so Maggie. Mm -hmm. No, no flower or hat. Okay. She's still a suspect. And Beatrice. No. Okay, so those two are still suspects as well. All right. And for me, wow, first roll. All <laughs> eyes. Now, the problem is now is that it's not going to help us. What? Okay, so whoop. So Belvedere mm -hmm. has, a top hat. has a top hat. And uh, Harold. Nope. He doesn't have a hat. Okay, so that's it. So we have two, four, six, eight suspects still. We've ruled it down to eight suspects now. One of these eight is our thief. So now we have to start getting clues. So, okay, so now really, I mean, he's rolled two eyes, and I think according to the rules, as long as you, you know, I don't know if he has to roll pause now, but pause. Only paws are going to help us. And all it says is that as long as your dice are matching, the fox isn't going to move. So, do you want to go for the eye just to not move the fox, or do you want to go for clues? I don't know. Yeah, that's, I would, that's what I would do. So roll for your eyes. Turn those in. So keep the paw. And you got one more paw. Last try. Yes! yes. Okay. Okay, and this one, it's a little hard to see, but it's a necklace, it's yep. like a pearl necklace. Yep. Okay, so uh, actually before we put yeah. the pearl necklace there, we have to put it on there. And now uh, Timothy's going to take a look inside. Red. Red. That, is, that means it's a clue, and it means the suspect is wearing a pearl necklace. Okay. So how many can we rule out now? So this one... Okay, so let's maybe move her there. This one doesn't. Okay, so that rules out uh, Edith. Okay, Ingrid does not. Okay. Lily has 
So look at that, just like that, with that one clue, we've now narrowed it down to yep. three suspects. And our next one, umbrella, if, if the suspect does have an umbrella, then that's going to be we've, we've solved it. Yep. All right, so now it's my turn, and I rolled two eyes, but again, I don't want to go for the easy thing. I don't want to try to just avoid moving the box. I want to try and actually get the clues. Oh, no. This is not looking good. No. No. One, two, three, four. The fox realizes we're getting close to cracking this and he's making a run for it. Yeah, but he has to go. Yeah. A few more turns, but. Okay, so Timothy has rolled two sets of paws. Yay. Okay, there you go. He's rolled five paws in total. Five. That's good. One up here. One, two, So the umbrella, the umbrella goes on to the revealer so here. Narrow it, narrow it down. Well, it's either going to. Gonna, let's, see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so, okay. Put a clue in there. And open up. Red. Red. So red means that the suspect does have that thing. That thing. So that means what? It's Lulu. Lily is the only one with an umbrella, so we can rule out Alice and Daisy, and he yeah. just leaves us by process of elimination with one suspect. And so, do you want to accuse Lily? Say, Lily, yeah. you stole the pie? Hmm. Yeah. Lily, yes. Lily, you so stole the pie. Okay, so pull the card out, and it says, Lily. Lily. Yes. So the card at the bottom reveals it was Lily, and we did solve it correctly. Hmm. So Lily was the thief, and we win the game. And that is how you play at Fox. Did you like that one? Yes, I did. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you very much for Timothy for coming out and joining us for the game about Fox. Hope you enjoyed that. If you're new to the channel, I am putting out weekly content on gamification, game-based learning, showing how games can be used in education and for educational purposes. If you have any other ideas or suggestions for games you might like to see on the channel, if you have a game that you might like reviewed, then please let me know. I'd be happy to do that for you. Uh, if you have any other, and if you have any other topics of discussion you might like me to touch upon, such as gamification, game-based learning, or any other kinds of things to do with games and education, again, please let me know. Do love to hear from the viewers, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Well, that's going to be it for today. Until next time, I'm Craig Thompson-Wood with... Timothy. <laughs> I'm teaching with board games, saying thanks for coming to the classroom. Are you coming back to school with